today we're going to be taking a look at Cyrotone amps. As you can see, this one does not output a signal. So we're going to try and fix this. We got the UV here running just a steady signal. We're not going to signal output. Just a quick note, this tutorial only works if your amplifier still powers up. If your amplifier has an issue and the bias circuit does not power up, this tutorial will not work for you. So let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this one. So if you flip the amplifier over on the top here with the heatsink, you'll find the output transistors. If you know anything about audio amplifiers, then you know that typically when an amplifier stops outputting a signal, it's usually because one of these transistors has died. And thankfully, Federal has made it extremely easy to pull these out, test them, and replace them if need be. These are actually socketed, so you take the two screws out, and the transistor just pulls right out. Now to give you a rundown, I'll go ahead and show you how to remove these transistors. So you just need a Phillips head, and you undo these screws here. So we got one of them, let's go ahead and pull the other one, just like that. Then you just pull up on the transistor. Sometimes you gotta get your nail up under it just to get something to grab onto, and it just pulls out straight like that. There's a little thermal pad that's connected here. I don't want to peel it off because this one's still kind of sticky and stuck to the heatsink. If we look under here, I don't know if you can see that. There is the socket right there. And to reinstall these transistors, you just put it back in the same way that you pulled it out. Now these only go in one way. If you notice the pins are offset, they're not in the center. So you can't put these in backwards. They only go in one way. So that's nice. So I went ahead and pulled the transistors out and we're gonna test the first one that was in this first socket here. And you wanna set your multimeter here into diode mode and you want to connect your positive lead to the base on this transistor. This is an MPN transistor. So Bo both the collector and the emitter will be uh, negative. So let's go ahead and test this one. So we have a short. Yeah, it's not making good contact there. This transistor is completely shorted, so this, this transistor is no good. So let's grab the other transistor here. It's the same process, put your positive probe on the base, and then, uh-oh, come on, yep, this transistor is also no good, so we have two dead transistors in this amplifier, so, now, just to do a sanity check, let's go ahead and test a good transistor. So once again, we'll put our positive lead here on the base. And we'll take our negative probe, we'll touch the collector. And we have a reading. Now let's test the emitter. Excellent. So this, transi this transistor is good. And I have two of these transistors. So if you test your transistor and you get those numbers for the collector and the emitter, then you're in good shape. You can throw it back in and everything should be all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss in two new transistors into this amp and hook it back up to the UV and we'll see if that fixes our issue. All right, we have installed our new output transistors, and now let's test it and see if we have a signal output. Sure enough, there you go. And that's how you fix Sarotone amplifiers. Very simple, Federal made it extremely easy. It's perfect.